Any volunteers? I'm gonna I'm gonna start looking soon. Once I soon. really work myself up to it, I'll probably start looking for a wife. I don't think it'll be we'll possible. See. She's gonna sign an NDA. I don't know. Like this that's is the, like the fucking like, crazy. That's like, this is the craziest shit. Yeah. The, the proper foundation for any relationship, a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in a while. So, so you say you've been gone for fucking eight days. Eight days. This is the first Super Chat segment back. And you just look at Nick's face. <laughs> he can just smell the felt. You know, you can just smell the felt off this image. Because even though he's allegedly getting $100 from this Super Chat... This super chat might be the cringiest Groiper super chat of all time. <laughs> and it's his fault they're like this. And this whole thing, yeah. it, it's just Groiper cringe after Groiper cringe after Groiper cringe after fail after fail after fail. Nick continuing to get angrier and angrier at them yes. until finally he's called out by one of the super chatters. No way. And he says the reason they're all so cringe is because of you, Nick. You made them this way. Whoa! And, and Nick is so felted by that that he has no choice but to pretend that the guy didn't say that and answer it in a different fashion. Because Let's he's just trying. Go. Finally, someone's like, listen, they're your fans. You know, it's not like someone else brought them in here. Like, you know what I mean? Florida Groypa sent $101, hashtag monthly. Now that Adolf's speeches have been aired, PLS recreated and yell the SHT out of it. PLS and thank you. That's you, Nick. Wow. Nick, you made them this way. Now that Adolf's speeches have been AI'd, please recreate it and yell the shit out of it. So yeah, I guess like so take one of Nick his speeches. Nick has to recreate Hitler's speech by dubbing over it with his voice. Is that it? What he meant? Oh, holy cringe, Batman! Sheesh! I'm not alone. How long must me wait? Are you saving it? Do you know how good it would sound, though? F. Nick is saving. He's Fine. like, it's no, over. He is, dude, it's over. Far F R thoughts on Run Gen Z, though. Is it worth it? I guess, or would it be a waste? And don't just say depends on the person. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That ah! me. Oh, yeah, look at him there, zoom in. Holy shit, man. Whoa. <laughs> That Groiper there needs to lay off the meth, bud. Yeah, He's know, got right? his leader looking like what that. His eyes, his eyes have rolled into the back of his head he's like he's so the underneath. Mad. Horrible for a super chat. I mean, thanks for the big super chat, but this just sucks in every way. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Oh, okay, there you go. It's so funny. Thanks for the big super But this is terrible so your top yeah. guy is high on meth nick your top this guy was high on meth while he was sending it in bro I'm look at him there uh, <laughs> hitler larp Great but you are doing a hitler stop. larp you said you were hitler two three and four imagine this a hitler larp this is if we got a dono a hundred dollar dono on, on, on Dono chat, right? And someone's like, here's at the casino, you always win when you're at the casino. And we were like, the casino thing's gotten too far, guys. It's yeah. like, it's your, it's your show. Your How show. dare you tell me you felt it? How dare you use felt it? Don't you know that that's cringe and gay now? You know, like, it's so like, oh, I stupid. Just, I was just trying to do a reference to the show and have fun in the super chat. <laughs> no, you stupid idiot. We're just like, oh my god, we're gonna wrap it up because that was gay. Thanks for the hundred, though. Good idea, though. You're a genius. No one's ever thought of that. The modern world. Dot com sent twenty dollars. Follow up to Instagram ban question. Eliminating one one eliminate the other current options. You could argue the FCC accomplished cultural regulation with societal appropriation. Insert George Carlin joke on free speech. Wait, the pain, uh, the pain, uh, the pain that he's in, man. It just hit him like the cringe. Just with like societal appropriation. Insert George Carlin joke on free speech. <laughs> oh, man. It's 
it's like real physical pain for him. He's like, this is my audience. This is the movement that I grew. And <laughs> maybe, maybe this is game. why he put gay after he's like you know, this he's is like, a punishment this is what they deserve <laughs> would you agree then there should be governing over social media content and public benefit shut up yappersville the crate called it yappersville i hate when people try to sound smart the pot meets the cattle friend <laughs> just so like repulsive I know you can call it cultural regulation. Was it? Shut the f up. What? Yo! Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Why? Why? Why do we even have to a log his viewers when he does it himself? He does it for us, he hates the Groypers more than we do. I know. He hates, he hates the Groypers more than Gabe Hoffman does. Like for real. Like he hates them more than the Jews do. Like holy. So Talmudic Network here in chat, he's raised his theory related to the hack. He says that it might have been an op by Nick himself to use as a justification for shutting down Cozy.tv at a later date. He has a new crew now, and he wants to cut ties with the likes of Beardson and Jimbo without Ooh. openly snaking them. It could be. It could be. Oh, my God. I'm going to repost this, but another guy... Another Drew, I don't even know who this is, but he's got 1.2 million views, 2.7 uh, retweets, 2.7 re okay, retweets. Thousand, yeah. Yeah, f***ing retweeting about the, the Nick Fuentes, America's News leading Nazi propaganda. America's leading Nazi propaganda is caught with a yeah, by the way, hear this Ashton, the way it's worded is so funny. So Nick funny. Fuentes accidentally streams himself watching gay yes. Like every, every headline is, he accidentally streams himself watching gay We don't even have to A-log anymore. Like, it's just like, yep, everyone's doing it for us. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Insert George Carlin joke on free speech. Get him, King. Reddit Tell him he's Reddit a redditor. Trash. Reddit trash. Reddit trash. Like oh man. And sorry, folks, oh, it's a oh, little oh, bit low, oh, but it, it's so good. Subhuman Reddit trash is what you. That's are. your audience. Ah! Subhuman Reddit trash. Subhuman Reddit trash. Bring it up. Stop. The Groiper, the Groiper L. Bring <laughs> he, it up. He, he, he hates his audience. So more than we by do. the way, like it's just serving the whole yeah. way along. The way he does it is so catty. Like he's a mean girl. You know what I mean? Like. Oh. Insert George Carlin joke on free. Dude, like. Kill yourself. No. Kill oh! He's telling the viewer to kill himself. Man, that's his message to you, Groypers. <laughs> Kill yourselves. <sighs> Holy oh, hey, I love it. Yourself. But bruh, but bruh, that sucked. Kia K sent thirty dollars. Got my tickets for a pack four. I'm I'm wanting to book my hotel, but before I do, oh, I'd like to know where the venue is in Detroit. Okay, Will we know? <laughs> He okay, calls okay. his own donor. No, did he say a fig or a fed? A fig. I, thought, I thought he called him a fed. Like no, a federal no, listen, listen, listen. Book my hotel, but before I do, I'd like to know where the venue is in Detroit. Okay, we know. Oh, maybe it is fed. Oh, maybe it is fed. Maybe it is. Also, donor, but this I is thought... clearly a good faith donation yeah. from somebody who's actually going. Yeah. Make Valentina Gomez a VIP since she's shilling on your ex post so hard. Can there I mean, really be pause? Can look at his face there. Zoom in. Like <laughs> in hand. <laughs> That's Christ. Popeye the sailor. <laughs> okay. How many subs? Five subs right now. But make this a sticker dude like this I'll is buy the groiper man yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest super cut man she at least us. publicly denounced Typac. maybe she'll come around yeah. <laughs> spinach first 
Well, that's an old joke. Jeez. Maybe I'll send her an invite. Uh, you will find out the location the day of, okay? Are you a baby? Do you need me to feed you your num-nums and change your diaper? Oh, Nick. Oh, my God. You, 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 you bought a plane ticket. You bought you, tickets. You spent thousands of dollars to go to this VIP event and look at in him. Detroit. Which, mm. speaking with, like, how can there really be a VIP event in Detroit? <laughs> like, really? Like, with the luxury of <laughs> Detroit. I don't know. But like, like, oh like, my God. Rocky, like, <laughs> and this is one of his most diehard supporters that's flying out for the event of the year in AF. You know, what are you, a fucking baby? Well, you to change the diaper? Up? Change the diaper? Do, 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 do. Like, this is the contempt he has for his own audience. That you know he what built. this is, too? I think he's even more mad that he went to LA, hung out with Kanye and a bunch of people. That like now it's even more enraging to return to this and go like, I was just with Kanye, and now these fucking yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. So yeah. Somebody goes, uh, wait a minute. They don't even know the venue yet. So the way it is with these guys, because <laughs> their event is like glows brighter than the sun. Nobody wants to host it either because. They don't want to deal with, like, they don't want to host Nazis, let's be real, for one. Two, they don't want to host it, even if it wasn't for the political views of Fuentes and what they'd be supporting and hosting. They don't want to deal with the bullshit that surrounds it, like the circus carnival, Antifa showing up. Is there going to be a federal raid? Is there going to be a riot? Like, what the f***? So they basically have to trick the venue and not tell them what it really is. And at the same time, they can't tell any of the supporters until the day of the event. Otherwise, they'll get canceled from whatever hotel is hosting it, yeah. or Antifa will show up, or there'll be crazy shit. So even still, there might be a, like a threat but... or something. Yeah, like a yeah. The threat, yeah. Oh. Figure it out. Uh, figure out the... I'm the one that's doing this conference... Against all odds, people against go, Shut all the odds. Up. Against all odds, you're man. you're you're fucking poaching He's money. saving the world. He's saving the but world. These are customers. These conference. are your fans, your viewers, the people who make you who you are, and you're figuring it out. You say it nicely. Listen, we can't tell you until the day of, in case something happens. Well, Numbass Just, Mason no. goes. How much work do you think he actually does to set this up? He can't even get out of bed. Guaranteed that the other groipers are doing it, like All Vince of it. or whatever. Like, does Jaden know? Like, how much work did this guy do in terms of setting up like Af Pack Two? Does Jaden know? Like, what does he actually do? Does he book the speakers? Like, because as far as I know, like the guy who ends up booking them is like Tenrio, which is kind of crazy. Like Tenrio is the outreach agent for like the celebrities. <laughs> Whoa! Imagine um, receiving then, a, a like, DM from Tenrio. Jimbo Zoomer is in charge of security, from what I understand. Mm. Uh, the treasurer is Vincent James of the foundation. Did he so quit? The guy in charge of no, he's still the treasurer. <laughs> he claimed he was going to quit, but he really has no other options. Internet friend asks, "How did Vincent James join this again?" He made a mistake. That yeah, he just can't get out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, can you help me book He's like, imagine him as like the I-dubs and Nick is Anissa. You know? Hotel? You can handle it. I believe in you. At Astro Sense. Whoa! <laughs> look into his eyes here. Look I, how, I believe look in how you. Look how dead his eyes are. And look how fat he looks, by the way. Bro, was he doing coke in LA? I don't know, He's always he's scr he's scratching his nose. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. $5. Figure out Nick. The I hope he was. That would make him cooler. He's still Honestly. seething. He's Wouldn't still it? yelling. Yeah. If I found was. that he did, did, did coke, I'd be like, all right, well, that's a point there. Bring well, it up. Half pack one was set up by Patrick Casey. I remember that lore. If it wasn't for Casey and the guys Casey had available on his team, would never have happened. Half pack two was the Jew Groiper. Whoa. And Jaden himself got Paul Gosar. And then half <laughs> pack three was set up by Milo. So when you look at it, like hmm. none of the three people who set up any of these events are, are there anymore. There. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so no wonder there was a bit of a delay in a year and a half in terms of getting this one set up. Uh, God Holy only man. knows what sort of gl glowing agent set this one up, if it was Ali Alexander or what. Yo, and everyone in chat's losing their mind. They're like, are you sure he's 25? Like, he's looking 33 men, isn't he? This is an he's older look, he's gentleman. Looking, he's looking older. This is where people start going, excuse me, sir. You know, they go, sir. Well, How would we convert our current world into a Christian society? Whoa, whoa. Is it something? Bring it back. That seethe was unwarranted. Dude. This extra seethe? Yeah. You can handle it. I believe in you. At Astra sent five dollars. Nick, how would we convert our current world into a see. Christian system? Okay, so he's. It's not even like joking. It's, it's not a bit because a lot of people go, "Oh, it's this is a bit where he's mean to the super chatters." But he's actually no, mad. He, he's actually angry. There's like, he can't figure out the logistics of getting you a fucking seat. Whoa. Whoa. Well, Ash, this may be the craziest supercut you've ever put together. I'm not kidding. Oh, it's not. There's been crazier ones. No, I mean, pretty crazy. emotionally, like for Nick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. now it's like, I, I swear, I think he's like, oh, I'm back with Kanye. Cool. I have my in. Now I got to deal with these f***ing losers. Society. Is it something that can be socially enforced or would we have to put laws in place outlawing degeneracy? Where is the line between totalitarianism and utopia? It's a really stupid question. How? Nah. How is it a stupid, like, you know, like, if we convert a current worldview to, to Christian society, is there something that we could socially enforce or we would have to put laws in place? Like, it's a pretty like, relevant like, question for Nick's audience, I think. Isn't it, Ash? I know. The guy's actually trying to talk politics or, like, Give an interesting hypothetical, and Nick just spits on him That's for it. The stupidest thing I've ever heard. Really? In between uh, totalitarianism and utopia. It's a really stupid question. Batmong sent five dollars. Your support for Trump is as unconditional as Trump's support for Israel. He could pick <laughs> back. He's getting like all of these in a row. It's like a full on like ten straight minutes of C that every <laughs> super chat. Were you shitting me lately? You, you have been laughing when you're this I up. was dying laughing. Yeah. It's so good. Ben Shapiro as his running mate and you'd still endorse him like a simp. This is the king of America? No thanks. Oh! Felted! Oh, he doesn't even Felted. know Look at that, man. Oh, Rude. man. That's funny. What are you going to say to that? I've explained this about a thousand times. I love oh, this. Yeah. By the way, you know what's great oh, about yeah. this? Is that his real audience, people who like him, are asking questions, and he's like, you're a re you're stupid, you're f you're all this stuff, right? And then an, a hater throws $5, and he has to explain himself to the hater. Yeah, no, he explains himself to the hater. But not but the not lovers. His own fans. Yeah, it's like, so good. Fuck? That's so good. I'm, it's honestly just an IQ thing at this point. That's what I'm realizing. So it's really just not even worth. I mean, we could do the explanation all over again, but maybe you, don't you get should. It, you just don't get it. Right Dodger up, yeah. fan sent fifteen dollars. Nick, I really love your show. Yeah, I have had a big influence on my life and how I see the world. I'm curious why you have done so few nightly shows since you returned to Twitter. Nick, <laughs> 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 man, he's pissed. He's about to fucking Mick lose it, bro. Yo. Mick he it. seems off today. I don't know what it is. I know. He is. I miss your daily commentary. I've been out of town. Okay. He but seems really he's anxious. He's wound up really tight. Yeah. Huh? He's very like, you know, I have some, some, I have some theories, but I don't even want to pitch them because I want to keep watching. I want to keep watching. But I have some theories. It's really, I don't really owe you an explanation. But I've, I've just been out of town. I've been busy. Normally, I do a show Monday through Friday, but I've had a lot going on lately. I love how the leader of America... I love how the leader of America and the movement doesn't owe you an explanation. <laughs> but he has a scheduled show? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't owe you shit. Florida. Groypa sent $5. VIP sold out and I'm upset about it. Now I have to get premium supporter. Yeah, if you want to get the good seats, you got to go premium. You got to go 1000 and up. Like, what, what a grift. Oh, what a grift. Can we get 10 subs right now? Like, this I'm is mad. This a thousand like, dollars? Yeah, it's a thousand dollars a ticket to dox yourself Are to you me. 
get fucking your name on a federal watch Are list. Are you kidding what me? A a and by a the grand. way, the the fucking you, you could watch it on the internet. Beardson? A thousand bucks to sit next to Beardson. Hey Nick, I'm Whoa, not gonna be able to shut it down. What? Quint for one hundred and one dollars. He says, you guys were right between the Santos and Destiny Twitter space, and now this. Things have only gotten better than ever for the A-Log since Fuentes was let back on Twitter. Just wait for the disaster that will be the next half pack. That's what I'm saying. Like, A-Logs are feasting. Yeah. Like, A-Logs of shit, they want there to be more content. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't want the content to go away. Because then there's no more fun f***ing with them or pointing out the bullshit. Now with Nick, like, we all wish kind of that he would go away. But him getting platformed on Twitter just means that he's more visible to getting f***ed with. Exactly. Now, like, bigger names are f***ing with him, felting with him. It's funnier. Like, there needed to be an injection of something fresh into this because, honestly... Yeah. It was like dying. Yeah, it, it was, was a Nick stuff. Up. You were saying, you, you were saying, you were like, Andy, I don't know, man. This Nick stuff is like drying up because I mean, it was the same thing over and over. And this new Kanye arc. Oh, please, please, thank you, thank you. Let's go. To send super chats for a while. I was the last guy caught on the Vitali stream. Please send prayers so I can Very go back to super chat. <laughs> no. The donation that his fan is a pedophile. Like, that's so funny, man. That's so funny. The jokes keep coming. Oh, Cloud boy. Slides sent $7. Hi, Nick. Thanks for all the work you do. I know you've said in the past that you have not watched Europa the last battle yet. But I highly recommend... Oh! <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, oh my god. Are you kidding me? We got me? a live one here. We got a live here this is really funny average groiper here nick like in a sarcastic way goes no i've never seen it and then this read that's watching takes it totally seriously and goes nick i i know you've never seen europa the last battle but i highly recommend you watch it look at him man he's on the he's on the edge yeah. these are your fans sir read alert read alert, read alert. Read alert. <laughs> Let's I commend go. you all. This is so good, dude. Watch it. I'm Especially what. Whoa, 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 He's threatening suicide again. I haven't watched the last battle yet. <laughs> but I highly recommend you watch it. I'm gonna Especially kill what. I'm gonna kill myself. CC935 sent $5. New follower here. Any plans to open? Oh! <laughs> New follower? Oh. The merch store? Yep. Wow. This is a man. He's on the edge. Like, <laughs> tell. He's losing it. He's uh, cracking up. B6 sent $5. Heard you say last week you've produced 1,000 hours of content. It's much, much more than that. We're at episode 1,330, plus debates, guest appearances, marathon streams, elections, okay. Twitter. Thank you, re <laughs> Terry J sent $5. Re listen to you versus CRP on the committee, and he said oh, that you have no. Kumite. Future because you burn bridges and that you will self destruct. <laughs> now look at you, back with Ye. Look at him, dead in Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. Things that didn't age well. Well, let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm still Dunk doing on my him. show. Oh, no, coach. No. You're dead. <laughs> Whoa. Pissing on Coach Red Pill. Coach grave. Red Pill is one thing. Yikes. He's rolling <laughs> over in his Ukrainian grave right oh, now. Oh, no. You're dead. No. So, yeah, I think that kind of speaks for itself. I'm still here, and you're not alive. <laughs> you're Stop, hmm. coach. <laughs> and you're in hell. <laughs> coach no, dead. No, pill? We can't. No, but we shouldn't joke about that. We shouldn't <laughs> joke about that because it's it's not right to speak about a dead person like this. Of course. This. But it is but when it it's is coach. Funny. He's like. I you give Nick no the dub on this. <laughs> they got it. Bring it up. Uh, the Gumroad watch of it at some point. A coach versus Nick. Oh, yeah, we should. 
you what know, about this, coach versus quartering? Coach Remember coach that? Who's richer? Who's yeah. richer? Who's richer? <laughs> but you know, shows how unbiased and, and how good faith I am. I'll give Nick the W over Coach because he went in dry on Coach. <laughs> like he left Coach speechless. Like Coach was just unable to defend himself. Brutal TKO stoppage was savage. That Nick Fuentes no longer exists, though. No, he lost it. So. You can't get along with anybody. Um, you have no future because you're not alive. <laughs> you, know, you're, you were killed in Ukraine. Well, he's like, I'm not gonna joke about it, but. I'm going to I'm gonna follow anyway, up. I'm yeah. going to follow up with a few jokes here now. So talk about no future. Uh, no new chapters in this book. I think that's uh, no no renewal. Unless. I love how he references the book, Wilshire yeah, Boulevard. Yeah, I was say, yeah, yeah. Listen, there will be a new chapter in this book if either J.F. Garappi, Nick Ricada, or Godwinson can get off their retarded asses and give us mm. the book. Give us the book. Yeah, Where, seriously, why, someone. Why? Seriously. Like, Ricada, you're dying anyway. Like, you have a terminal illness of reaction. Like, just leak the book. JF, like, really, bro? Is anybody going to sue you? Just leak. And, like, the worst of all is Godwin's. Like, you were my, you were my brother, Godwinson, and you can't leak the book? How dare you, sir? The shame of it all, Adam. Just leak the fucking book, but it'll never happen. He never delivers. He hates the fans. We will never get Wilshire Boulevard. No, but it's a shame. It's not Nick's right so fat it. there. What happened? Yeah, this is it's like a, a toad. Look at look this. at that. Whoa! Did man. we AI generate this or is Nick this Scott Fuentes, Thicky Nicky? Yeah. This is what he looks like in the current year. He looks like he's forty years old. He looks like like John Goodman in Roseanne. No. Shorter though. Okay, fucking things broke. Based. <laughs> Look not at him. That this Why doesn't he just go, oh, you yeah. guys, I'm heading to, uh, like, to bed. Yeah. Good night. Why doesn't he just scam the Super Chats? And just go he, they'll, listen. They'll donate anyway. Just scam them. Just say it's broken. Good night. Fire Rises sent $15. Nick. I'm not Nick. No. Never heard of him. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Fire Rises sent $10. No. Looking well rested, Nick. You should take time off more often. Okay. Why is he looking That's at his pals like that? That's passive aggressive, isn't it, though? It really is. It really is. And Nick picked up on it. But he's looking at his nails like a woman. Wow. Like, what's going on here? It's Look like he sees at these. That in salon or something yeah this body language he's, like, he's so like, sassy i didn't take time off though okay i was busy the entire week i took time See. off the show but i was still busy okay florida groipa sent 12 dollars. it's the same four guys just guys torturing just torturing. Yeah. torturing a lot of ppl i'm talking to scared about getting fixed at f pack and feds what if feds should up etc that's never happened we've done how many events now? We've done like a dozen events. Never. Yeah, happened. you're right. That is suspicious, isn't it, Nick? Nobody's mm -hmm. ever been doxxed. No feds. Pause. No Wait. What a lie. Because we know we know a guy who was doxxed, and his name was Teddy Feaser. Never forget the Feaser's sacrifice. Wait. Never forget what's it from Fight Club? His name was Robert Paulson. His name was Teddy, Teddy Feaser. And you doxxed him using That's the ID he gave you yeah, at Ashback. You're man. right. Wait. So you're Justice telling me. Justice for Feaser. So, so Nick's anger towards Feaser ultimately is Nick's biggest downfall, exposing him as a fed. Mm -hmm. That is the best day ever. <laughs> One spell to remember is given a name. <laughs> We're not doing anything illegal. We're not. A, we're not a group. Right. We're not. We're not what do you mean you're not, not a group? group? You're not a group. What's the America First Foundation then, if not a group? Groipers. It has never, the Groipers meeting at the event. That's not a group, really. Okay. What the f are you talking? Okay. We're not doing anything illegal. 
We got mainstream people. Nick Ricada so. told me it wasn't illegal. Well, you have mainstream people at the thing. What people? Like, name them. Who is mainstream that's actually at this event? There's no sitting Congress people like there was at previous event. You know, it's a clear step down. But sure. Uh, is she looking at the zoom in? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, but if you're a pussy, hey, you know, sitting on <laughs> If you're a pussy, if you don't want to like lose if your you don't future, get docs, your life, you know, or be arrested, lose your job, get kicked out of school, potentially federally charged, or just if you don't want me holding blackmail over your head forever, so if you disagree with me at any point in the future, like old Ted Feaser did, I can dox you, then you're just a pussy. What also, if you don't want to go to Detroit and identify as a white supremacist, you're a pussy. Like, I don't know. Seems like a sucker's gambit to me. <laughs> Seems like a real sucker's bet. Yeah, <laughs> let me just go to um, Detroit with my uh, neo-Nazi organization. And before people go, oh, it's not really Nazi. We know. But however, everybody else disagrees. All the black people there, like you're in the Nazi organization. So... You know, just get on your hats and, uh, you know, you'll be the only white people around and you'll be the hunted. Like, have they thought this through? It's not even that they'll be, like, identifiable even by their yeah. hats or anything like that. They're white. Just straight up the fact that they're white walking around downtown Detroit is going to make them a target. <laughs> you talk a lot of shit about your super chatters being cringe and having bad jokes. Here it is. Oh, and look oh at he's called out. Look how he recoils. He's been found out. It's all been building up to this. You talk a lot of shit about your super chatters being cringe and having bad jokes, but where do you think they get it? Wow. You're cringe and geeky. Then when they do it, you shit on them. It's funny, but your whining is incel bullshit. Where do you think they get it? Incessant. It's incessant. Sure. I like okay. how you thought ins. You're like... You like filled in Must the gap. Be in. The word of the day is <laughs> incel. You're cringe and geeky then when they do it, you shit on M. It's funny, but your whining is incessant. I'm funny. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, we're pressing Whoa. X to do. Okay, that's who I am. And you're not. But he's that. not actually answering the question. But, but if, you, the, if your jokes, when you hear them, back to you are horrible like when i hear someone say felt it i laugh i don't go what the fuck was that okay that's why i'm over here with the show and you're watching the show so just respect the difference if you're so funny everyone wants to get up like it's some kind of comedy festival <laughs> it's not Wait, like Okay. Yeah, like, like, comedy festival. Comedy festival. The thing, I, I'm just going to draw a distinction right here. Our audience is actually really, really funny. I know. They I are. think out of all the chats online that I've ever seen, it's the best. Yeah. It's actually one of the best chats. Like, our people are quick. One line. They're sharp. Bang, 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 bang. And they're like, bang, 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 bang. They're good. Whereas Nick's audience is just cringe as fuck. Very lame. Very yeah. lame. yo, and like on the last show at the end of the night, the uh, the Chris Boris thing, the one liners were so f I had oh, they're tears. so tears. I had tears. They're so good. Okay, I do the show. You watch the show. We've been doing this for seven years, but somehow people. But think you're not. Listen, you're not <laughs> answering the question, though, Nick. The thing is, they're so cringe because it's monkey see, monkey do. They get their cringeness from you, but he refuses to address that because mm. it's too painful to bear. That cross is just too heavy for him to bear. You're not that funny. If you were, I'd be following you on Twitter and retweeting your jokes, but you're not. You're Boy. not that funny. But you're not. It's okay. I'm not that tall. Why out of nowhere? So felt by manlit little Nikki. Why would he even no, say that? No, little Nikki, what a disaster, buddy. Why would buddy. you even say that? Short, short, tough. Short people I'm got not punctual. No we all, reason we all to. Have then our he just felt so weekend. He's not punctual. He's always late to his show. 
Ooh. My thing is I'm very good at doing a show. And you I mean, that you're really good. It. You're really good at reading the super chats in a sassy fashion. <laughs> you're really good at being a mean girl to your super chatters. Like, I'll uh, give you that, sir. All uh, right, a big fiver in the works Smart. here. Run in airports, talk to people at bookstores, and have a wife. Whoa! <laughs> That's a foul. Oh, I run no, in airports, Nick. talk to people at bookstores, and have a wife. No, buddy. That is literally because so if you don't remember, guys, uh, he said the story about how he struggled to talk to that dude in the fucking bookstore yeah. who was just being friendly. What about running airports? I don't is know the running airports part, but he, you know, the guy gets him with the bookstore and the wife, but Nick has to pretend like he doesn't know. I don't get it. Oh! 5,000 cent five. We do, Nick. We do. Dollars. Never ever grow that stupid mustache back. Oh seven. Don't tell me what to do. Real nigga sent five dollars. Why can't we leave the Middle East and just invade Canada? TBH. They have no nukes <laughs> with good natural. <laughs> he skipped it. He skipped it. He couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Groy per grown up sent fifteen dollars. Groner, Nick, Nick, oh, Nick, it, Nick, just the name of the guy. Groy per grown up, and he's just like, uh, he's like, I'm cooked. So the reference where he's running to the airport or the airport, uh, he wouldn't run to his flight, so he missed his interview with Alex Jones. Oh the story. yes, because I love scared he, of he running. Yeah, he, he pretends though that he doesn't know what that means, even though it just happened to him a few short days ago. Oh my god. This is so funny. Nick, I've sent multiple super Burns. chats and you just respond with based in a retard voice. It is clear ah! <laughs> you are either intellectually dishonest or immature or both. <laughs> anyway, I'm moving on from this show. No. Yeah! Yeah! The Groy Groy for grown up wins. Bring it up, Casino Dub. Ding. Bring it up. This one escaped the honey pot, folks. You know, he's like, listen. Nick's so felt it like these are the super chats he gets like these are like long uninterrupted stretches of donations like i'm barely even editing this like 15 or 20 minutes it was pretty much just these back to back to back to back oh please stay no no i need your 15 okay but i'll never make fun of you and call you understand that you're not growing in fact you're now like He's regressing back to being a toddler. Yeah. Ever again, you're really smart, and I need you to watch my show. I'm working myself up to it. I'm not looking forward to it. I have to get married, I know, in the next... <laughs> oh, man. There's nothing Ooh, that gives he, him more... five years? You're not going to... No one's going to want to fuck... You're, you're fucking this radioactive. Is ridiculous, man. But look how fat he is. I know, Look it's at, bad. like, what a freak show. It's actually really bad. If you look into his eyes, though, look at the despair, the sheer distress that he faces at yes. the prospect of, of getting a wife. There is no part of the process that I am really looking forward to. It. Pause. I'm so there's so you're not looking forward to having sex with a woman. So, like, imagine you've been a virgin. OK, and not just a virgin, but a virgin for 26 years. And like the prospect of pussy doesn't excite you at all yeah like the prospect of like human intimacy like cuddling with your wife sleeping with her kissing you know having a companion for life Filling none of this up. yeah nothing nothing about this excites you right that the straight man you know what you know what he looks like here who he looks like pat the nes punk <laughs> the way his lips are <laughs> sorry right. but I'm, I'm working myself up to it it's working yourself up to <laughs> I'm working myself As who has to work themselves up this is like what an old man would say like i gotta pop the viagra and work myself up to it like you should be good to go sir no like what's it tackle box not working or like <laughs> when you see vagina you see tits like there's just nothing going on down there you got to work your way up to it his face is just so malleable and like the, goofy the, i know He's getting worse and worse all the time.
Yeah. We'll see. Maybe it's made like of a clay. Warm up to the idea, but it's warm up to, warm the up idea. to the idea of pussy. Like, what do you Love? mean, man? A like, woman? you can say, like, listen, the right woman hasn't Kid? come around, Listen, look, or you could say, like, I don't know, like, I'm in a phase in my life where I don't think it would be fair to a woman to bring her into my life. Because like, I'm busy is, or whatever. Yeah, he's yeah. busy and he's a martyr and he's fighting the government or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But he's actually saying that he has to get himself into the right mood to consider fucking a woman. <laughs> I mean, like, hopes, it's just... And then, like, the cherry on top of this whole Sunday is at the end of this stream, he shows everybody gay <laughs> And we still don't think he's gay. <laughs> and the cope, the cope goes on and on and on. Like, you're about, you're going to say to yourself, oh, surely the cope ends there. No, it goes on and on and on to an excessive degree. Really gonna cramp my style. I have kind of no cramp my style. Your style Alex of Jones was pushing it on me la uh, last like, week. Like pause. Before. Like you know that there are women who probably all they'd want to do is sit inside and watch fucking TikTok anyway and eat McDonald's. It's what you do. You know there probably is some woman who doesn't want to go be out willing or to live your shut in incel loser lifestyle. Where you just sit inside all day and pretend you're the leader of the white race. Yeah, but the thing is, those girls still want to get Or He's like, oh, wait till you have kids. Then it's going to awaken something primal in you. I'm like, yeah, urge to kill everyone in my house. <laughs> wait, Whoa. What the Whoa, fuck? Well, Nick is saying that if he had children, he would have an urge, a primal urge to kill his children and his wife. <laughs> That's that's like crazy. who says stuff like that nick that's like he's like going to go chris benoit on his family like <laughs> it's gonna awaken something inside you i'm like yeah the urge to kill everyone inside my house did you say that on alex jones's by the way look at this guy he's like his skin is just so like stretchy what you have kids Wow. My life's going to suck. Why would your life suck by having kids? It's like, Nick, your life already like, like, sucks. Like, listen, Nick, if that's the way you view it, then maybe you shouldn't be a traditional influencer, man. Like, maybe you should just go join the other side. Because what you really want is, like, to just do whatever the f*** you want, whenever you want, live some sort of weird, degenerate lifestyle, never build anything. You may as well be a libertarian or a fucking straight up liberal, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Like, the whole cornerstone of traditional politics is the idea of building a family, raising your children that way, raising them to be God fearing. But none of that would give you any joy at all. Then why are you even on this side? It's just because he's a contrarian. F that's what it is. Yeah. He just no. wants to be a contrarian. His whole life, he wanted to be smarter or than everybody. Or is he too far into it? I, th I think he's just well, too he's far. Just, well, he's too far deep. But the whole yeah. reason he got into this position in the first place is because he was a know-it-all, smart aleck fucking guy mm. who wanted to always be able to tell people, no, um, actually, you're wrong. Like, to the point where he became more and more extreme and retarded. Yeah. And now he's trapped doing this forever. And he hates the people that he does it for, and he hates his own life. Like, look how seething he is at the idea that he might have a family in the future, that he might have children, that he might have a wife. <laughs> like, I don't... I, this is not a normal reaction to those thoughts. That's fucking... This is him, like, realizing that because of the position that he's in, he's trapped himself into having to live a lifestyle that he doesn't really want. He doesn't want a wife. He doesn't want kids. He doesn't want responsibility. He wants to be a Peter Pan, never grow old, forever online, no responsibility bum that gets jerked off for being intelligent by a bunch of other losers online. Like, that's mm. the life that he chose for himself, and he's trapped in it. So, anyway. So, anyway. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Nick. I need, like, a hot. You're on the internet. You're doing a show. You're live, You're doing sir. A show. This isn't this isn't the bed the fucking bathroom mirror, bud. Like holy this is a shit. Show.
young wife who's just going to shut up and kind of just take care of me. I'm really, see me. So pause. I, already feel I love it how he criticized everybody for wanting girlfriends because it was projection what he said. If you remember in the past clips, he said they just want a mom to take care of them. Remember mm -hmm. when he said that? Mm -hmm. Everybody who wants a girlfriend or wants a wife just wants a mommy to take care of them and do the chores for them and make them feel good and they can suck on their nipples and num nums. Like, that's what he was saying. But in fact, that was actually just projection on his part because he's about to admit that that's exactly what he wants. Feel like an old man. I already feel like a grumpy old man. You and look I, like one. I just kind of need like a, a young, like a very young wife. Pause. Do you Why get to throw you in the word very? Like, do you understand you're trying to beat the pedophile allegations, sir? And then like the only thing that you can talk about is like a positive value proposition for a wife is that she'd be very young. Like it's suspect. It's very <laughs> sus. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not really on my list or like a lot, like she'd be very young. Like that's creepy, that's bro. Like it's actually creepy. It's not like somebody that you can spend a lot of time with because that's the thing. Like you have to be with somebody because you're going to be married to them. You're going to be with them for life according to your religion and your cultural background and everything you say you stand for. So like point number one should be somebody that you can spend a lot of time with. Because yeah. you're going to be spending a lot of time with them. So hopefully you have some shared interests or hobbies or you click, you have chemistry. Like that should be point number one, mm -hmm. especially with the line of work that you're in. You're going to need somebody very, very special. Do you understand? Who's into politics at least somewhat, at least like will like accept what you are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. To just kind of take care of me. To and, take care uh, of you, like a baby. And to just kind of be like... So you're a man-child. Just kind of run the house. Well, mm. you know, Nick, you're like... got... <laughs> no, Nick, listen. Listen to what you're saying. The woman is going to run your house. I don't know if you're aware of this, but in the Bible, the man is the head of the house. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> the man takes care of the woman. The woman takes care of the children. Do you understand? Like, it's not supposed to be this weird inversion where she's taking care of you. She's solving all the problems. She's, like, doing everything. That's not really, you know, how it's supposed to work. But who am I to say? Someone really interesting or, like, my best friend. Like, I just want a wife who's going to, like, make me tacos. Like how, like, how shallow a view of a relationship? Like, how foolish? This is like a child. I want somebody that will make me tacos and change my, and do my laundry. <laughs> Mexican! Okay. Do you know that you could hire, like, a Mexican maid to do that for you? <laughs> no. I'm just saying like, he wants tacos because he's Mexican. No, yeah, because he's I Mexican. I love tacos. No. I do love tacos, It's, it's seriously sad. Like, he doesn't want a wife. He wants a personal <laughs> chef and maid. You understand, like, you will get those things with a wife, but it comes from her submission to you because you're a man and you provide and you take mm -hmm. care of things and you make her feel safe, you make her feel protected, and you provide the structure for the family, including your children, to be successful. But all of this is just completely lost on this retarded man-child, which he can't even say the right things. Mm -hmm. Like... It's not like I'm the most experienced man in the world on these matters either, but I can at least say the right things. Maybe some tacos where it's like 3 a.m. and I'm working on something, I'm like hungry and I'm like, hey babe, make me some tacos. Sure thing. Like that's all that's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm looking so for. So he's just he's just looking for his delivery to be quicker. He's you know? just looking for, like, a built-in Uber Eats or DoorDash. He no longer has to punch it in. What a great marriage there. And a little topping. No, that's a joke. Kidding. That would be a sin. What? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, is he saying that in the confines of a marriage... It would be illegal to get sloppy toppy. 
Like, what does that mean, by the way? Does that mean that it's like she's in cowgirl and she's riding on top? Or does that mean she's pegging him? Like, because I don't think the first one is against God's marriage laws. <gasps> but I think the second one might be. I don't know. But, like, why would, he, why would having sex with your woman or your wife be sinful? <laughs> is Sloppy Top... Sloppy Top, he's getting head. I don't... Okay. I can If he's not far gone in the Catholic space where you can't waste your seed because it makes God unhappy there to get a blowjob, then, like, Come whoa, on. buddy. That's nuts. That, anyway, but I'm really just looking for... Someone who could help me with some of this stuff, you know? Do the laundry, make my bed, make So you're snacks. looking for a mom. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he's phrasing it is, like, so childish. And he looks really childish. Make he's my bed. It. Make his bed. Holy. You know, iron my clothes raise my kids i need her to bear and raise my kids like he's, he's so not again, even tossing he's, in he's not gonna provide he's about to say this he's not gonna provide a fatherly role for his children he's not gonna discipline them and maintain order in the household he's not gonna do any of the work around the house or anything like that is what he's saying he's just gonna let his wife raise the children until they're of age Mm. Which I got to say is, is like a massive recipe for disaster because the whole reason we talk about how like as conservatives talk about how a family with two parents is better than a single parent raising them is because you get both masculine and feminine roles and examples. And if you're not providing your end of it, shit's going to get all lopsided and topple over sideways to say it's impossible for the kid to turn out okay. But we talk about like preferred outcome and the preferred outcome would be that the father is involved in their kid's life, Nick. This is the stuff you preach on the show, but it's rules for thee, not for me. Do you understand? It's all good in the gang for everybody else to live that way, but Nick himself won't live that way. It's funny how that works. Put a baby in her and I want her to raise the kids. And then when the, when the sons are like 14, then I will take them under my wing and they can work for my what the f you see yes. this so no involvement in their lives till they're 14. it's That's... the most important the most important years are their earliest years yeah like by the time the foundation they're the foundation this is crazy it's like you're setting out to build a house and you just say oh f the foundation i'll come in and put the chimney on He's like out of it bro and the daughters can they can do their own thing you know they could do it so he doesn't even care about the idea of having daughters they could like do their if own they're thing. women just discard them just throw them in the trash indeed if nick's wife got pregnant and it was a daughter he would push for the abortion yeah that's his mentality like they're just a waste or or he, or he would use he it no, like yeah use the daughter in some sort of like they like trade for political yeah, power. No, you know Fed what I mean? Bundy, like, Fed Bundy is <laughs> nailing it here. Like, Nick is actually emotionally 12 years old. He sounds like an edgy kid in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Other Somebody else in chat said something to the effect of, you know, Nick is still permanently trapped in 2016, 2017. Nobody thinks these takes are edgy or cool anymore. We've all heard this bullshit. Yeah. But it's not actually conducive to a successful real life. This is childish mentality. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't want to cuddle and watch Disney movies. Why not? Like some people. Why not? Like, wh what would be wrong with that? What's wrong with having intimacy with a woman? Like, what's wrong with that? Like, cuddling with your wife while your children are watching a Disney movie? Is, like, is that not, like, a wholesome thing? Now, I know Disney's getting bad or whatever. <laughs> Maybe the like, old, you know, like, uh, like, you know, a like Peter Aladdin Pan, or, you know, or something you know, like this. Yeah. But no, of course not. That's wrong. It's cringe to do that. Oh, it's cringe. Beauty and the Beast. I'm a Neo Gastonian. I'm not, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need cuddles. Okay, like just because life. what John Doyle said alone. about being. Yeah, just because John, what John Doyle said about being a Neo Gastonian is cringe. 
doesn't mean that intimacy with a woman is cringe. It is, in fact, you, sir, who are cringe as f You know what? Fine, Nick. Die alone. It's going to be gr but, great. But, right. but like, not, like, it's not just about your needs as a man. You understand? Like, if it's going to last, especially in this modern age, mm -hmm. like, you also have to fulfill what your woman needs. It's not mm -hmm. just about you. Like, if there's no intimacy, if there's no romance whatsoever, the relationship is going to fucking die. They'll divorce you. It, yeah, for real. Like, that, I, I, and it's not that it's and take right. And your shit. But this is the world that we live in now, but it's also just what's right. Like, a husband should love his wife and desire to give her intimacy and desire to give her a good life. Like, it's, no, it's all about me and I, you'll be my slave. Ha, ha, ha. Like, that's his f***ing twisted mentality. Mm -hmm. Paul Ryder says this, but I agree. It's like, she'll divorce you, and you'll deserve it. You'll deserve, like, that, like, the woman will be like, I can't handle this. It's like, f***ing, like, this sounds like very abusive. A very ab emotionally abusive relationship. It really does. No, I mean, what yeah. it really is, is that if Nick was in, in a relationship, whether it be gay or straight, he's going to be the biggest simp f***ing doormat there is. You think so? Real. Yeah. Buddy, yeah. he's not going to lay down the law. Yeah, you're right. He doesn't you're have right. the f***ing balls to do shit. He's going to be simping, doing whatever he can. To, he's full of shit. Like, this is just him trying to come off as a tough and cool guy on the internet. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And that's always what it is. And look at how f***ing sick he looks here. This is like a demonic look. This is just him f***ing up the youth that are listening to him, looking up to him as a role model. As he tells them this distorted, fucked up view of women that he can find no basis for in the scriptures or in reality. And I know Elephant Mario was like, we got to move on, we got to move on. But this is the most insidious shit that he's doing to the youth. He's poisoning men against women and vice versa. And yes, there are legitimate grievances that men have and that women have in today's twisted society. But it doesn't mean we just throw the whole thing down the fucking chute, say, oh, well, fuck, I guess it's over, and then seethe and demand that, you know, unrealistic bullshit. It's crazy. I don't need your cuddles. I don't need Netflix and chill. <laughs> I need snacks. I need an appetizer tray. I need mozzarella sticks, mac and cheese bites, onion rings, and It just keeps fries. going. And I need them in 30 minutes. Oh, hey, it's called Uber Eats. Yeah. 30 minutes. And anyway. So there are be. That's what I'm looking for. Any volunteers? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start looking soon. Once I soon. really work myself up to it, I'll probably start looking for a wife. I don't think it will be possible. See, she's going to sign an NDA. I don't know. Like, this that's is the, like the fucking like, crazy. That's like, this is the craziest shit. Yeah. The, the proper foundation for any relationship, a non-disclosure agreement. I can't even, I don't even know any women. I literally <laughs> don't even know any women. I cannot even tell you the last time I talked to a woman. Jesus! It's like, isn't that I, some sort of a problem <laughs> here? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the last time that I've talked to a woman in like a social setting i don't even know any of them i don't talk to them then how do you expect a marriage so, to work this is bad if you He's can't even stop. ride the bicycle with training wheels how are you gonna ride it without <laughs> i'm just oh. not that guy i'm just not that guy that's like you know straight i just have no game for that like you're a loser you're a bum but that's just me. But You're now me. a pedophile supporter? You're a Look fed? Oh, my God. Like, who who wants this. to watch a show me. with but a guy like this? It's like, the, it's like, look at this. Ash, what happened here? <laughs> I know we keep saying it, but it's just like... You're what, skinnier wow. now than f***ing Nick. <laughs> I don't know about that one there. You're but getting there. I'm you're presenting. You're, as you're, less, you're, it's you're more almost, shocking to see him like this. So you're you know? you're almost like you're like you're like you're getting like more fit. He's getting heavier. You're gonna yeah. soon meet in that axis where it's gonna be like, who oh. is fatter? <laughs> it's got to be like an arranged marriage. 
It's got to like, be what? like, I'm not married, then I'm married. Because I can't do courtship. The insecurity you here. Do you know why? Because wow. he, he can't you do it. Because you fear rejection. Yeah, he can't because do you, it. Because you fear being inadequate. And you fear being vulnerable to somebody else. That's what he fears. An He's scared. Man. And so he'll never grow as a man. Yeah. But there would be anything. no arranged, arranged marriage. No parent would allow their daughter to be with Nick Fuentes. Would never I mean, he, he's basically like pulling a clog. Like, what, are you going to marry some Indian? Like, you know what like, I mean? Like, what are you talking about? I mean, get a Russian male order bride, I guess. Like, Why? Because I hate the idea of having to get somebody to like me. Wow. Isn't that sad, man? It's, and by the way, Nick, it's not getting them to like you. Like, you just either they like you or they don't. You understand? Like, if you just are yourself, I know it's cliched advice, but it, you better just be yourself. You're better off being yourself when you're looking for a, a long term marriage because you can't just be a fake person for the next fucking 50 years. They have to be on board with who you are. And, like, one of the main keys is that they're attracted to you. Like, number one, they have to be attracted to, you know, you physically. And then they, too, they have to be attracted to who you are. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and if that's the case, it's going to work. But you don't make somebody attracted to you. Like, it can only work as, like, a con game for so long. If you're looking for a short-term hookup, yeah, you can talk your way into fucking some bitch and charisma max it or whatever. But ultimately, if you're talking about having a wife for the rest of your life, it's not about making them like you. What he's worried about is that they won't like him. And yeah. that, that will damage his self-esteem to an irreparable degree, and then he'll be broken. Well, didn't that one girl, the girlfriend oh. of, who was it? Do you remember what I'm talking about? Remember he was seething at that, that girl for a long time? One of his buddies, a girlfriend's? Yeah. Who was it again? Do you remember? The, uh, I don't I was it like remember. an Asian girl? Was it an Asian girl? Oh, Kathy Zhu or whatever? Are you no, talking there about? Was, there was someone, uh, another girl. Someone's girlfriend. Brent's girlfriend? It was in October ish. That I anyway. hate meeting oh, okay. new people. I especially hate talking to women for longer than 10 Anyone minutes. Anyone remember that? Yeah, she called them ugly. Married. Yeah, yeah, someone called them ugly. <laughs> Not Lauren <laughs> he, Chen. No, no but yeah, no, it was Brant's girlfriend. Yeah, Brant's girlfriend. Ugly, yeah, and he seethed right. he right. about it forever. Yes. But he just said that he can't talk to a woman for more than 10 minutes. Well, then don't get married. Yeah. It's like, you're just setting yourself up for a fucking disaster then, bro. See, it's not going to work. <laughs> I hate the idea of having to, like, get someone to like me. You know what I mean? When you're like... The, the whole concept of like dating a woman, you got to jump through all these hoops. I hope she likes me. I got to get her to choose me. Choose me. Yeah, that makes yeah. That's I, I don't that's know, it. Like, that's how I, it's done. I, I don't know. Like they the have idea to choose that you. you have to like demonstrate that you, you're like a somewhat competent and normal person is just beyond his capacity. Yeah. Like yeah, choo, choo, I, I don't know. I choo, oh, you got to jump you. through all these hoops. Ooh. I don't know, like, most people enjoy, like, I'm not going to say that everybody enjoys it, but most people do enjoy, like, talking to, like, women and going through courtship, and it's fun. Like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of crazy, and it's just a guy who's never even done it at all, ever in his life. <laughs> so how would he even know if he likes it or not? He's just made up his mind already because his insecurities have eaten him alive. <laughs> She's lucky if I choose her. That's kind of the how I want it to be. Not like this. I, I some people say, "Oh, I live for the chase." It's the opposite. I don't want the. Ch I want to cut to the chase. I want to cut the chase out. I want to get to the end of the chase. It's so crazy I wanna that go hardcore gay. Played right after this. Like, I know. It's crazy. I know. I want to see some pictures. I, I want to go on like one interview type date, and then I just want to make a decision, up or down, yes or no. Well, that's gonna Is fail. Gonna be the wife, yes or no. Easy way to fucking get divorced Maybe four times. Time. But I'm not. You know, some people love this like dating shit. I the whole idea of it is just like totally contrary to what I'm about. Some some guys, that's what they some guys they love that. Some guys love they don't even love sex, 
which is disturbing to me. Because that I could understand. If they were just mm -hmm. like, you know, taking down pussy every week. But oh, this is a gay like mentality. Like, this is like a grinder mentality, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and this is a very secular view How could of you sexuality. Love a girl? That he's more into is he's like just about getting fucked and yeah. about having sex. Yeah. Which, you know, that's what he said is the gayest mentality. That's what his whole like having sex with women is gay thing was about is that it's a gay mentality to only want to desire sex. But here he is saying the only thing he really desires is sex and that the idea of being with a woman, having intimacy with a woman is anathema. Okay. Makes sense. Say, okay. I get that. But some guys, it's not, they, they're like serial simps. They just like Snapchatting and talking to girls and like doing that. It's like, how? How do you like this? I'm not. But I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to eventually. Okay. The clock's ticking. You know, I've had 25 good years of, of putting this off, 25 good years of just not thinking about it and deferring it, and now it's getting to be that time. Getting to be that time where he just I got to get married and do all that. Ugh, it's going to be so embarrassing. Like, the whole concept of... More embarrassing than like this? Being... Okay, this is strange to me. ...in front of friends... Yeah. And family. Sorry, Durbro, so stop. He just he just said <laughs> that like the idea of having a wedding where he's with his friends and his family and his wife is cringe to him and is upsetting. <laughs> Why are you a traditional Catholic then? Like for real though. Like Italians are the ones that are like so big on their wedding and the Catholicness of it all and the families coming together. Most people, like, one of the happiest days of their life is their wedding day. But yeah. for Nick, all, he views it through some, like, weird, cringe internet lens where it's no longer about, like, the joining of the two families in union, the joining of a husband and wife before God becoming two halves of one whole. It's all just cringe and embarrassing. <laughs> With my wife he's so stupid it's family. so cringe it's cringe what he's saying Jeez. embarrassing y you should be he should be embarrassed you're embarrassing i know i'm out there you're a fucking no, child that's, that's code for being life. gay so yeah, per, i know i'm out there perpetual child look at this like you're a perpetual perpetual child you're a fucking pedophile supporter everyone fucking hates you you're a joke Virgin, You're now a like, yeah. joke to everyone. That's what's cringe. And, uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm Catholic. I'm like, but also I just, I'm just anti. -social. And Jake He's Shields and all those fucking other guys. Ninety-five cent. All these Get guys. Get ready for Jake this. Jake Shields that everyone should be ashamed for helping this guy. Dollars. Seriously. For the record, you have streamed exactly two thousand four hundred thirty-one hours, forty-four minutes, and thirteen seconds of America First episodes, with the lobby intro parts trimmed off. Obviously far more including Rumble exclusives, gaming slash whatever streams. That's creepy. Nobody cares I know. <laughs> Less than three Nick. Technically, young Sh I thought Young Sheldon ended. I thought Young Sheldon just had its series oh. finale. That's crazy. Young Sheldon, if you can hear me, please save us. Please tell me you watch exact number young of Sheldon? I've live streamed America. I hope Don't. no one here watches Young here Sheldon. Here we go. Here comes the final foul. Bro. How fat are you gonna let that second chin get? I do not have a second chin. I'm just. Oh, buddy, what do you oh, mean? We've been cult. looking at it. Stop, the cult, buddy. It's just the way I'm sitting. Just the way you're sitting, buddy. Yeah, well. It's just the way. All I'm right. Sitting. Well, there's the fucking massive. Cult I there. I gotta take a piss. That was great, Ashton. Yeah, Did we I know just it drags do... on a little bit long, Look. and I get up on my soapbox about the relationship. It was stuff, great, but. No, this is setting up the new arc of Nick possibly heading to the jail. Let's have fun with it.